Alright, hello everybody, this is Bo Hyman for Massively.com. It is September 11th, 2012, and that makes it a Tuesday, which is not my normal day to stream a Rise and Shiny game, but today, uh, yesterday I was going to do my normal Rise and Shiny game, and I had the cable dude, he came over to uh, upgrade my cable, uh, and uh, it was a great thing that I got it upgraded, don't get me wrong, but it took forever to do, I didn't get it done until like 7 o'clock at night, so I actually had to miss uh, miss my live stream last night. So I'm making it up for it by streaming today as you can see. And the game I'm going to stream is it's 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 absolutely funny just hilarious to say this but I'm going to be streaming there. Uh, either you know what I'm talking about or not uh, but I'm going to be streaming there today which is just such a trip to say because last time I played it I, or last time I was really involved with it was what I guess 2004 I believe my profile tells me here uh, let's see, uh, February of 2004, so that was uh, eight years, almost almost nine years ago, I guess, and what had happened is it closed there, well actually before I get started on all that stuff, uh, if you have any questions or tips or tricks or ideas or whatever about what we're streaming today or uh, questions about me or whatever, I'd rather keep them about the game, but if you have to have a question about me, go ahead and ask in there in the chat room. I'll try to get to it. If you're watching this later in the uh, column, if, the, if this is a video embedded in the column you're watching, just uh, ask the questions there in the comment section. I'll try to get to them. And, of course, you can always remember that you can contact me at bowatmassively.com or at Twitter at bow underscore Heinemann. Uh, if you have any uh, links, don't post, post them in the chat room if you don't mind. I typically don't like links because links can sometimes lead to bad things. Uh, but if you have to, just mention that you're going to link, you know, say, hey, Bo, I wanted to link this picture of there back in the day or something. Cool. Go for it. Uh, also, if the, if the stream has any problems for you, if it falls out or breaks or blows up or whatever, just uh, give it a few minutes or refresh your browser and Twitch should kick back up. But, it, you know, it's, Twitch is a very, very busy service, so we have to forgive it once in a while for being uh, slowish. Uh, but anyway, what is there? There was a game that, it's, it's a social MMO, uh, much like a Second Life or something like that. But what you have is you have, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit more, it's not, you just don't place things into the world like Second Life. You can't just build anything. You can, and then you can submit it for approval, and they can sell it. And you can actually, uh, if I remember correctly, make the money you make, you can turn into real life bucks. It's been a, it's been a long time since I've, uh, excuse me, since I've crafted anything in the world or game. Um, but basically, it's, it, if, you, if you've played social games like... Um, Second Life or any of those type of games, you, you're familiar with the, with what I'm talking about. So, you know, the purpose of the game is to get together, hang out with friends, party, stuff like that. And we used to spend so much time just uh, hanging out and having chats, uh, racing cars, shooting each other with paint guns. It really was uh, my first foray into social gaming. Uh, shortly after there, uh, I think after we played it a while, I went into uh, Second Life. And Second Life was, I think, my count there is just soon is early 2004 as well. So I really started to, uh, to uh, somebody suggested, hey, let's look at this game called Second Life. And I was like, oh, cool, let's do that. And then I had no idea what kind of game it was uh, at all. Uh, and then, of course, I've still been playing Second Life since then. Um, there, though, had some financial issues, I guess. I think it shut down a few times. I think the last time it was really available was in uh, early part of 2010. It was shutting down and people were just heartbroken about it because there, there are people who had still really, really uh, enjoyed um, enjoyed the game and, and were really, you know, were making money on it, I guess, and selling their items in the shop, which I'll show you here in a minute. So it was, you know, for a lot of people, it was really, um, it was really kind of a, a sad thing that happened. Uh, it was, for me, it was, I was, I had been, you know, I had moved on to other games by then, of course, but it was really, you know, it's, it's, it's cruddy to see any uh, MMO shut down, especially one as unique as there, um, and I'll try to show you some of those different things. L looking back now, as I play it now, it's kind of funny how primitive it is in some ways, uh, but at the time, it, it really was uh, one of the, one of the few experiences where you could just log in. And, and have chats with almost anybody you wanted to. I mean, we'd have political discussions, we'd go to parties, you know, they'd have dances, and I mean, I remember sitting up till 3, 4 in the morning sometimes with my wife or myself, and we'd just sit there and have a good time. Uh, but what, I've, what I like to do in Rise and Shiny is go through the UI first. So I'll probably go through the UI a little bit, and, uh, oops, boop. I'll go through the UI a little bit, and then we'll, uh, and then we'll 
you know, I'll teleport around and show you some of the different activities. Essentially, if, if you've played uh, social games before where you, you know, the, job, the point is to race around or talk or have fashion shows or whatever you want to do, it's like that. But it's really uh, a little bit more adult. Excuse me while I haven't had uh, some tea because of my allergies, but it's a little more adult. I mean, you have, you know, there's definitely uh, limits on what you can say and do. Uh, but I, n I rarely remember very many young players in the game, possibly because of the voice chat. As you can see my little name up here, you'll actually see uh, there's a little signal, that symbol there. If you're watching it on 720, you can see this in full screen pretty easily. And... Um, your symbol there indicates that I have voice chat. Now, for a while they sold voice chat. They also sold, I believe it was an audio, like a musical version. Uh, you bought the voice chat package, and I thought you bought the musical package, which allowed you to hear uh, in-game music from, like, boom boxes and stuff. You know how you can, in free, free realms, how you can throw down a... Um, a music box and music comes out, people can dance to it. Dance to it. In there, if I if I remember correctly, but it has been a long time. Anybody in the chat room or later in the comments of Rising Shining knows this. Let me know. But uh, I think you had to buy access to where you could actually hear the uh, you could actually hear the uh, the, the music coming from different uh, people's uh, music boxes or you know boom boxes or whatever. So anyway, just to kind of go through the UI, which is what I like to do with Rising Shining to show potentially new players. Um, you know, because there has relaunched, and if you, and this is actually what my my uh, character looked like back in 2004, 2005. Um, they allowed old players to sign in using their old account information. You made a new account, and then you sign in with your old account information. And if you happen to forget that old account information, which I forgot my password, it allowed you to reset it and to send you, send it to an email address and all that stuff like that. And I was able to get back into the game. Uh, but some of the UI here, and, and this is so, in, you know, in case anybody logs in and is confused, I'm used to it because I played the game, but um, here's your pro profile. If you click on somebody's name, there's their profile. Now, the profiles there was kind of advanced in the way that it, everything popped up in, in kind of its own, um, its own browser window. It was one of the first games to really use that, and I thought, always thought it was really clever. Now, I haven't filled out my profile much, but of course, back in the day, um, uh, you know, back in the day, I, it was really cool to see how much people filled this out. And I used to have my photos. I've, I've got to fill all that out there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, you're, oh, you're glad I'm casting it in the chat room since you can't find they don't offer free trial. Yeah, I, that was one thing if you're trying to return to the game. There was no free trial that I saw. Um, I don't know how long it's been, re how long it has been since it returned. Unfortunately, a lot of the independent or smaller MMOs don't contact big websites. So I just constantly have to... Uh, find them and up you know make sure they're they're updated or whatever so like for example they're relaunched and I had no idea and all it would have taken was one email and I would have gladly streamed it earlier or whatever but yeah I haven't seen maybe it's because they, they're brand new and they're relaunching or it's only been a while that maybe they're uh, they're not offering a trial right now I don't really know but um, anyway this gold bar thingy here that will basically back in the day that was a big deal if you were moved up to this gold um, setting, you, it meant that you had a certain level of activity or you were very active in the game or whatever. Uh, when did it come out? Asked the chat room. I believe 03. As you can see, I've been, I've been a member since 04. Um, and I thought it was 03, but it could have been earlier in beta. I'm not real, real sure. So the graphics, again, will look a little bit dated. It uses DirectX 8, uh, but now they have added the option to use, uh, uh, I think, let's see here real quick. I actually really love the, I've always loved the, uh, the look. OpenGL, DirectX 9, so you know, you can, it can run on an older machine, uh, definitely, for sure. So it's, that's, that's one, one good thing, you could run it on an old laptop or whatever. Uh, but anyway, so in your, in your uh, profile, you're going to find, for, here's how you play the game, you actually will become, uh, you can actually gain levels. For example, I was an avid author. I wrote so many books and uh, poetry books and had parties and stuff about books. I actually met a woman in there, which was really, really cool. She was, um, she had won the lottery, literally, and and had an in-game library to where she put up player books, and I'll show you one of those here in a minute. And you could write books and earn points, and so I became an avid author, uh, expert fashionista. I think that came from, I think, maybe designing clothes, or try. I'm not sure where that was. Uh, casual dog handler, avid merchant, which means I sold things. Avid card player. There's a card game in here. 
uh, renowned event host if you host events and you have people show up a certain number of people show up and you actually will um, you know get points for that so you earned actual levels uh, renowned board writer which I've got to show you the boards the boards are hilarious that was my favorite thing so you actually earned levels and there was a reason it wasn't like second life where it was so open that you really didn't have any particular goals and there you actually had goals to achieve which is different than a lot of sandboxes so that's your profile uh, your force field if you turn on that means that no somebody cannot come along and shoot you with a paint gun and knock you across the landscape uh, whenever you go into a, a paintball fight though for example um, you know you you want to leave your force field off so you'll get you can play the game uh, I'll go ahead and go back to my standard view here uh, doo -doo -doo, standard view there we go now I'll show you this real quick uh, as I'm going through the UI here I'll show you my things real quick and this is where you can get into the vehicles and some of the other furniture and just all sorts of stuff I have I've got to re I've got to redo a lot of my um, inventory here of course it's really really uh, messy uh, let's see if I can get on my board. I'll show you the board. There we go. Here's a here's a uh, here's a um, a hoverboard, which is a really really popular activity. A lot of fun, tons and tons of fun. And I actually I got pretty pretty darn good at this. But it's I, I this is literally the first time I've been back on it since uh, shoot. I can't remember the last time I was on one of these. And then you shoot. Let's see if I can back up here. Turn around. I think you hit. You right click for. See, so you can do tricks in the air. Let me see if I can find an open space. In fact, let me let me go to another space here. I'll take that back. Let's go to places. Let's go to an open spot. Mm, do, 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 do. I think a beach. Let's try that. Uh, there's instant teleporting wherever you want to go. Really, really cool. Um, let's see if this is a good spot. Here's this should be a good spot. Right click is your the controls are a little unusual, but I believe you can change that. Right click is jump. Uh, to look around freely with like a mouse look, you have to hold down control. So the controls are always kind of unusual, uh, but it didn't necessarily turn people off or anything. You know, it was just they were just strange. You have to remember that a lot of your controls were weren't really necessary your typical MMO controls because you were busy socializing and stuff. There was a point too where the water that's actually moving here was actually was just solid, solid blue material that you could walk on, and it was a big deal whenever they actually made the water um, fluid. I remember when that happened. Oh darn it! There's no dropping here. Let me go to uh, let's open the map and I'll show you a really cool area and I also can show you some of my. Uh, let's try. This is a neat place. Crystal Gardens. This is in a place called Tyr, T-Y-R, Tyr, I'm not sure how they pronounce it, and it's, there's kind of some lore in the game, but not really, so they always left it open so the players would end up making up some pretty interesting lore, talking about, you know, how you, how we came to this world and all this kind of fun stuff, so it was a really neat sandbox, and in fact, I wish a lot more sandboxes would do just kind of mysterious things where they left the lore open. And players were encouraged to kind of make up their own stories about how it came to be and all that. And I don't remember, it, again, it's been so long in this week as I'm playing it, again, for the first time in years. I'm going to try to go back and remember anything about that I can. But let's see if, in the meanwhile, I'll, I'm going to pull out this vehicle here and see if I can... See if I can... Uh, Explore a little bit and I'll show you a little bit more about the UI and I say okay, so let's drive. This is a hover boat You can you can jump on here with about five four, five people total four of your friends Let's see if I can get off this crystal here. I might have almost there There we go Oh, yeah up is your up key. Oh I Forget how to go up Is it both there we go both buttons? Yeah I can't believe I remember that. So you, there's a lot of vehicles. You can actually, players can actually design their own vehicles um, based on, you're going to you're gonna design those vehicles based on, uh, you know, templates of vehicles. So you're not just going to have, you can't just build any vehicle and throw it in the game. Kind of like Second Life, you actually have to, um, you know, be able to, um, uh, 
wrap it around a vehicle kind of skin. See, so there's the crystal yard I was just at. Let's go back to center view here. And I'll show you the bone yard. This was a really cool mysterious zone. It had a lot of, uh, you know, this creepy kind of atmosphere, the glowing crystals, all that good stuff. So what, you know, what you would do is you'd hang out with your four or five friends on these boats like this one, and you'd pull out your paint guns, and you'd go around shooting people and stuff. It was a lot of fun. Oops. I've got shortcuts. The normal shortcuts you used to um, don't work in this game. Where am I at here? Let's go. So I need to go to... There's a compass around there somewhere. Wow, I forgot even how to uh, see the... Here it is, compass. Okay, so I need to go east. So the, the, the pace of the game is, is just is awesome because you're just hanging out with your friends. You used to explore. As I'm driving here, I can show you some more of the, uh, some more of the uh, uh, UI here. These are basically uh, coming up to the right and left, by the way, are, are, are player homes that you can rent. I think you buy them out and then you rent them. And they were a big deal when people put them in, but I can show you one of those. Really, really cool looking places. Let's see if I can land on one. It's a little bit difficult. Once you get the hang of these guys, though, you can really, it was fun to pop around with four or five of your friends. If I can make it. Ooh, I think I'm going to make it perfectly. Alright. This is a player home that is part of the actual uh, is part of the actual landscape. Um, so see, here's... Oh, you can actually rent that one. I think it's for rent. I'm going to visit it real quick and I'll show you what it looks like inside. Now, you can have these these official player homes like this that are built into this into the, to the actual landscape. Or you can... Uh, oh, is it not let me visit? Maybe I didn't get in there. Let's see if I can just go in. And you can pay for the rent with uh, cash, you know, cash shop type money. But I don't know exactly how much it all equals. See, this is a kind of a smaller one. You can see the lanterns and stuff like that. When these came out, they were cool because they were designed so well. But you can also have what they call a PAS, which I'm forgetting what that stands for player or something or whatever, but you basically, a PAS is a, is a portable house. Uh, it's not even really a portable house, it's like a portable building area. And you can pl you can just lay that board building area down wherever you'd like. In fact, I could probably find a space. I mean, uh, actually, let me put this away. Let me show you another, some more of the UI here. This part of the UI here, these little yellow buttons that I'm clicking down below, those are, that's completely optional. You can have that open or not. In fact, I don't even really know. I think they're just shortcuts to different things for, for new people to to play with. Uh, you've got, uh, cat, you know, I guess this is kind of like your forums, but also events. Um, forums are hosted on a strange new site. I'm not sure what the forums are now. Whenever you go to the forums, they're not... I think the person that has redone this is really kind of... Uh, I don't know. Uh, but here's different events and stuff like that. Again, I don't know why these all go to events. Uh, visitor's guide. I guess this is like a newbie kind of tutorial thing. So, uh, and then let's see here. So then you've got your basically your their central, which is what I was showing earlier. This will always pop up, and it, you know it's just a it's just a browser window, and it'll show you different neighborhoods, um, cool new things, stuff like that. Here you can actually buy the their what they call their bucks, and from this from this browser window you can pretty much do everything. Uh, you, auctions are really cool. Auctions are generally player made or um, uh, you know official things that have been sold uh, through the thing. Like let's go to uh, let's go to the pet store for example. So like here's a, here's a here's a dog for example. They have dogs in there. What's really cool about all, every, pretty much every item in there is you can actually borrow it. Uh, it's I think it's five minutes. So you can try any object. To, instead of previewing it, you literally try it out in the world. So you can, let's say if you just needed a car real quick to drive up a hill, you could actually literally just borrow one if you want. So if I wanted to try this dog, 
I've got it for five minutes now. So let's see here. So I can actually pull the doggy out, and there's the dog. You really can't see it right now because it's so dark here, but they're, they're awesomely animated. In fact, what I'll do... If you've ever seen uh, um, the dogs in Free Realms, these are a hundred times better. There, he's already gone. Let's go to a more bright place here, and I'll show you some more stuff. It's so fun to play with this because it's been so long. Uh, let's go to kind of an empty place for now. I mean, there used to be, uh, used to have certain level, you know, membership levels just to visit some of these areas. Uh, these are player houses, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, they are. So these are all places you can rent. I imagine that right now, because it's so uh, because it's so uh, new or returning or whatever, that it, a lot of these places are for rent. They used to be impossible to find places to rent. So let's go over here, and I'll show you some stuff, and I'll see if I can... Um, let's pull out the doggy again real quick. See, so there's the dog. Look how they're animated. They're hilarious. When you own them, you can have them do tricks. <laughs> they're so cool. But see, that dog is on loan, basically, for five minutes. So I can try it out. It'll disappear in there. So let's see if I can pull out a pass. I don't think I can. I'll have to find a, a, a spot. It'll tell me. Oh, I did. I was able to pull it out. So in this area right here, this is what you would call basically a building zone. Now, I don't know if I can leave it here. Uh, one hour. So it's going to be retrieved in an hour. So I have an hour. So once I'm in here, uh, I can actually decorate. So what that means is I believe I can pull out different um, things. Let's see if I can pull this out, for example. So see here I got pulled this little area, this thing out. So you can you can arrange you can arrange you can have you can arrange all this stuff and kind of build a little sitting area for you and all your friends to have a meeting. I used to have meetings in these things all the time. See that? So you could talk. You could have all your friends hanging out, and then you have somebody up front. You know. So this is how you build inside this. Now you can you can I mean you can build whatever you want, but like I said, it is more. It's much more controlled in there than it is in, like, say, a second life. You, you can't just throw something out into the world automatically. If you want to sell it or build it, I don't know what this thing is. What is this? Oh, it's a little decoration. Oh, it's a little spinning decoration thing. I didn't even notice it. If you want to sell it, you have to design it using their uh, templates and their kind of rules and guidelines. And then, oh, I don't know what all these sounds mean. Oh, this is, this is a nice one. There we go. I've got a tree. So I can put a tree down if I want. So now I've got a tree. So, you know, you can just decorate and have a good time. You can build, uh, you can get really big. I think the, these paths or these portable kind of building areas, uh, you can build giant, um, you know, loop-de-loops and, you know, pretty much like you could in Free Realms if you've ever played Free Realms and built an, inside a plot. These are basically a portable plot. Uh, I don't think I have much else. Here's some more seating, for example. You have to be careful. Some of the ground, as you can see, kind of sucks it up in there. So you have to lay it on something flat. Oops. Uh, let's see where that go. So a lot of times people would build themselves a pad like this. You could save it. You can save the layout of it uh, like this. Let's see here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Hide boundary. I'm not real sure, but you can save the layout of it, and then once you pull it into your pocket at any point, you can, you can hang out with your friends, and somebody can say, hey, well, I built this really cool, um, this really cool racing area. You want to try it? And be like, yeah, sure. So then let's say you throw down some, some different ramps and stuff like that, and then you can go up here. I'll show you this real quick. See, I need to organize my stuff really bad. Here's a ramp, for example. So you, here I'm going to put, oops, it's too big. Where's my car? Oh, here, and now it's all loaded. I, I have a ton of stuff. Chairs, eight-seaters, all sorts of stuff. Couches, I've just got to organize it all because I literally have not organized it since I've raised my character from 
years and years and years ago. So some of the stuff, some of these pixels have been in here since, you know, since uh, 2004, which is really funny. So let's say instead of being a couch, you've actually arranged, um, you know, a, um, a series of ramps or whatever, so you could... The idea with these boards is to, I forgot how you turbo. So you're supposed to do jumps and tricks and stuff. And this is how I got really good at, at building, uh, or at, at cell boarding or whatever you want to call I forget what this is even called. I can't remember. I can't remember how you hit turbo. There's one of these keys. Spacebar? No, no. Uh, so you bend down like that and you can... The idea is to get a really big ramp. Ah, I can't remember how to do tricks. <laughs> but I became really good and that's where on my profile I was showing you um, I actually have a renowned board owner. I think renown is the highest you know, you've got to hit the highest of renown, possibly. And in order to get that, I had to ride one of these boards around forever, but it was, you know, it's fun. In fact, let me go see if I can find a good, um, put that away, then I can put the paths away. Like that, and it should take everything with it. So then I can go to places, uh... go to the beach. I think the beach always had some really nice um, areas. Let's see. Where was it? Kuba Beach? I think it was. Let's see. Let's just try here. But people will place, you know, big, you know, things laid out like ramps and all that good stuff. Used to be a lot of fun. Let's see what's, what's here might take a minute to load. I mean, if you think Second Life used to take a while to load, there used to be like, oh my gosh, you'd be sitting there forever loading. Let's see what we can find. Let's check it out. I have a feeling it just drops off here. Yeah, it does, down to the beach there. Here, I might as well uh, let's get, get the get the uh, the big guy out here. Jump in this sucker here. These things are a lot of fun. Now these have turbo on them. Yeah, let's head down there. There is a big out track. You see the track down there? Here we go, I'm going to head down here to this. Don't tell me I can't get on there. Oh well, here I'll just do this. The wa None of the water is deep, that deep. How do I get out of forget? Now, what's funny is this actually is not my truck. You can loan items to people. So if you wanted to let this somebody borrow this item, in fact, let's see who owns this. Oh, it is mine. Okay, I'm sorry. But here, I'll show you another one. I can actually loan this out. I can say uh, lend to somebody, and they'll say, who do you want to lend it to? And um, you can just loan it to a player forever. Now, at any point, if you want to take it back, you, you can just take it back and, and you're done. Um, so loaning actually kind of changed a lot about, uh, it was one, it was, it's still one of the only times, you know, in MMOs where I could think of where you can actually loan people items. So it's pretty revolutionary back then. How do I get to the top of this track? 
Hmm. I made it? Oh, I did. Okay, now let's try my board. The boards are just stupid fun. I love the boards. I had a custom one. I had a the Pink Bunny, uh, Pink Nightmares Club. Let's see if I can do any tricks over this thing now. What is the turbo, though? I forgot. That's the jump. Oh, don't fall off. Ah. Let's see if I can get back up there. Turn, turn, turn. So they can, I'm forgetting how to do all the controls. But you, you got different boards that were di good for different things. You know, that ran different, faster, stuff like that. But I can't remember how to turbo, darn it. And I can't remember how to do all the tricks. There's a way you can spin. Oh, there was one. <laughs> and you earn points, you earn basically experience points for doing, doing the tricks. Just like you would in kind of a single player skateboarding game or something like that. And then you and then you gain experience in that and gain your level. So And at the time, you know, eight years ago or whatever it was, it was it was much harder to to, to uh to run this game. So you had you ended up having a bunch of uh you know, you ended up getting some pretty pretty hectic lag and stuff. But now it's as you can see, I mean I'm streaming it and everything, it's really easy to run. And these, you know, these are all newbie areas where people log in and it, as newbies they would find all these little kind of tutorials and things like that. There's just not very many people on now. I don't know if it's because they haven't announced it or what. Which is one of the reasons I like to uh, stream games if I can that haven't been talked about much. Maybe getting a little attention. I always forget how to do... Darn it. Let's see here. Let's put that away. Here's another cool, uh, there's a, a scooter, where's my backpack, the backpack is the coolest, I'll show you why, where is my backpack, it's like a jet pack, man I really need to organize all this stuff, let's see, where is it, here we go, Okay, this is basically a jetpack. So, for example, that tower up there is where I was before. Let's see who owns this one. I might own this one. Yeah, I do. I bought one, it looks like. And for a while, actually, uh, the big deal about there was that it, um, I believe the army, the military, was supposed to use the client in virtual reality simulations back then for training and stuff, which is just hilarious to think of now, how, you know, because how rough it looks. But, you remember how to turbo? Alright, let's go to another place here. Uh, let's see if we can find where people are at. Because it's a little early, I have a feeling there's not very many people on. There is a fly that wants my tea. All right, let's see where we're at. Here, actually, I'm going to explain how to, some of the clothing and the creation uh, works, because that's pretty important stuff. Uh, these are all clubhouses, too, where different places where you can rent out and have a party, stuff like that. This is a new area. I don't remember this area. Like, see, this is, I, I have on this t-shirt that says one year anniversary of there, which is really funny, because that would mean that I, that they're talking about the one year anniversary back then. So this shirt, the pixels of this shirt are like six, seven years old. But let me show you real quick. Essentially, if I wanted to um, design something, now this is how it worked back then. I don't know how it works necessarily now. I'm sure it probably works the same way. You had to follow tutorials and you had to Photoshop, but essentially what you did is you would download... Um, you know, let's say with your shirts here, for example, you would download the um, 
the outline, the the template, and then you would decorate that shirt, and then and then you would import it into the uh, game. And I'll show you probably what. Actually, I'm not going to rent it. Let's try it. There. See now I have it on. So you can actually try stuff out if you want. See how it looks. And actually, I really love how the avatars look. I, it, it would be fun to see kind of a quote-unquote normal MMO, you know, with action and fighting and stuff done this way. So, you know, you're shopping, you're doing some different things like that, and so you can try in different colors. Let's see who made this one. This might be an official. It's not telling me. I think you, all the player-made stuff we need to find in auctions. Let's double-check. This is where you find all the fun stuff. Uh, select category. Uh, let's go to clothes, basically. Yeah, you can see designer Applebee's here is the designer. You can you can auction it. You can put a price down, or they'll sell it for buy now. See, she's selling it for three 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 thousand three hundred ninety nine their bucks, which would be about. Uh, let's see how much their bucks cost. It's been too long, so I could could not even tell you off the top of my head. Hmm. Might be loading here in a second for a second. Let's let that load. Let's go to auctions. See, for example, here's a good example. Um, there are these are rocks, just some rocks for your uh, house. So you saw the little thing I showed you, the little pads where you can just lay it out. These are basically rocks that you can just buy and use to decorate. Similar to how you would go in Second Life to somebody's home and garden center type thing. Here's a here's a pool. Things take a minute to load still. There's a nice pool. So you could put that in your paths if you want. So it's exactly like Second Life. The difference really is is there's more there are more um, limits on what you can make. You can't, you know, I don't think you can make any adult items, quote unquote. Which is good. I don't really care to see that stuff anyway. Let me X off some of these here real quick. There we go. Um, but it has to be approved and everything. For example, here's some uh, here's some tennis shoes, right? Let's say if you like these, I'm going to try them on for a little bit. So you try like this. Changes you out here. Hmm, how do I get to my shoes view? There we go. See my shoes? So you can check them out. Like old skateboarder shoes or whatever those were called. Little checkerboard ones. And you get to try them on for five minutes. And what was really fun is you'd be hanging out in groups. If you get near another player, this little pop-up will happen near them, and it'll say, do you want to uh, join this person in a conversation? All you do is have to click on them, and uh, you can actually do that. In fact, I wonder if I could see if there's anybody around here. Maybe I could do that. I just join with them. Where am I at? There I am. Where did I go now? No, it's too zoomed out in. I think I'm there. I am. Uh, let's see. Let's click on that. I'm just. It's just a dead game right now. There's some people here. Oh, it's a paintball playground. My Here's a whole bunch of people. Now, you might hear some voice chat. Hopefully, it won't be anything horrible. If it is, forgive me. Uh, but this is where people, you'll just get in a group. It's almost like, like you're a poo-poo head. You know See? what I mean? Because they can't come up with other, like, more intelligent. Yeah. See, and as you get closer to people... See, so you'll actually hear people as you get closer and get farther away. It actually is a, it works in a realistic way, the sound. So as you can hear, they're talking by, through voice chat. Here, I'll say this. Oops. What time is this? Well, you're on the East Coast, right, Joseph? You're in Tennessee, right? No, no, it's about two and a half hours. It's about 1 a.m. Oh. Oh, okay. Hey, what's up, guys? How y'all doing? No tell them where they're at here. Uh, walk in the middle of our conversation like that. Oh, yeah. Who's on TV? I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's on TV? Am I on TV? Hello, Mom. How are you doing? See, as I type it, actually, it actually updates. 
So you can see, this is how you can do a conversation. You can actually, usually you can join up with a person in a conversation here, but I'm not sure why that's, why that's working. You're just too smart standing over there looking like a moron sitting on your hair. That didn't work out well. Let me say, oops, been too long since I played. See, it actually updates your, your, um, typing as you go. See, now watch as I walk off. See, it'll actually get quieter, but you can still see that he's talking over there. Pretty cool. So I could voice chat, I'm just, I forget how. Uh, how do I do it? <laughs> it's been too long. Communicator? No? I have no idea. There might be a way where I can set it where I'm, I'm probably, like, um, uh, where I'm basically hands-free talking. Put on a shirt here real quick. Nope. Nope. There, there is a 2005 shirt. There's a bacon shirt. Let's see here. There we go. So you see they're chatting. Usually, I, I don't know if they, maybe they did away with it, but you have a thing where you go up to people like this, and you should be able to click and join their little chat. Maybe it happens automatically. I don't see it. Anytime you see somebody with these goggles on, that means yeah, they're never away from keyboard. Yeah, I would have never I think you're an hour ahead of our, our behind me. See? There's little places you can sit, stuff like that. Oops. Oh, no, it is. Okay. So, you are the same time. I, one o'clock. I will be having to go to work next Pretty cool. So there's people there hanging out. Let's well, see here. Well, had I been up, I would have stayed up this There's other people here. This is probably why this is busy, because this is where the new people log in, I bet, imagine. Yeah, there. it's funny to see people, because you don't normally see a lot of people, at least not, it hasn't been, oh man, it's been a long time since uh, the crowd, game's been really crowded. But this is kind of, these are kind of cool, these little fashion things here. What they let you do is they let two people watch you, and you can start changing your look. So you can have your two friends sitting right here and then what you can do is you can actually change how tall you are I believe let's see here you can make some really hideous looking funny looks let's see so you can see I'm getting different looking slowly <laughs> you can make your face so if I watch my eyebrows here Big ears. Uh, I thought you could do different colored skins like purples and stuff, but let's see here. Mouth. You make some pretty funny looking avatars. That's supposed to be a bacon shirt I have on, by the way, that was made way back in the day. <laughs> So there, that's kind of a neat way to change your uh, avatar. As a matter of fact, the first day that I really uh, played the game, one of the first people I met was a friend named Daphne, and I was she was actually at a photo booth. People used to um, people used to actually uh, they have these blank areas where you can jump into the photo. What? Yes. Okay. There we go. In these blank, there'd be like a blank white wall, and you use them to take photos on because back then you didn't necessarily have a way to extract screenshots of stuff so here's other people here see he's looking at he's got a monkey on his back see that there and the, actually the body uh, types and the shapes I think are some of the best MMO shapes I, I would love to see like I said a normal MMO because they're very stylized you can do all sorts of crazy things with them let's put a better shirt on It's not really like a standard MO either where you can just change the uh, the, the look that easy. 
Uh, let's see, I'm trying to find my sneakers. No. Oh, those are work for now. There we go. That's one of my favorite shirts here. It's a bunny from the Pink Nightmares named for the... Uh, if you've ever seen a Christmas story. I actually drew that. What I did is I drew the bunny and I took the template for the shirt. Now at the time that was probably the best resolution you, you would get. It, you weren't really able to get very good resolution. I mean, you know, at the time you were like, oh, it looks really good. But, you know, nowadays, Second Life games like that, you, you, you're the, the resolution and the textures you put in are just 100 times better. Now, there were tricks at the time that I know now that where you could put, you know, you could easily put better resolutions in there, you know, higher. It's my... My uh, shape looks off still. My, my Batusi. Maybe it's just me. Anyway, you see it says Pink Nightmares, because in Christmas Story, you look like a Pink Nightmare. So we had a group called the Pink Nightmares where you'd ride around on skateboards and stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. Now, these might be targets you can use for paintball. Paintball really, was a really uh, popular activity. Let me see if we can do that. You pull out your paintball gun. Man, I've really got to organize this inventory. Where is the paintball gun? And paintball was a blast. Now, you ran out. You could run out of paintball, so you'd have to buy more. So it got a little expensive if you just blew through them, but let's see if I can find it. Good golly. Um, might not let me. There we go. After you click OK, move your mouse to aim and click to fire. OK. So there you go. Oh, darn it. I gotta turn my force field off. Uh, how do I get back to the... <laughs> I don't remember how to get back to uh, to my menu. Okay, there we go. Um, how do I turn my force field off? Boy, it's been too long. Activities. Ah, how do I do that? Oh, here we go. Disable force build. Okay. So now we can go back here. Oh! Ah, uh, see, that's why you don't want to... Let's go ahead and turn the force build back on. See this person. You're on TV. That's how. <laughs> how do I put a URL in chat? See, so this is how you can chat. Copy paste. Uh, hmm. Any way you see it. See, it updates as you type, which is a little bit annoying, but it's also, it also led to a lot of funny things. You'd see people saying things, and you'd see it ahead, and they might make a mistake, and then you'd go back. Did Here, let me ask. Uh, did you play way back then? Question mark. Back. Oops. See, as I just made a mistake. How far back? Question mark. 2008. Whoa! Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Ex employee of the, per the the developers who made the game before. Do you work on it now? Bloop. See, it seems like we're in the conversation. I guess not. I have no idea when this came back and who works on it now. That's right, it closed in 2010, she's telling me here. That was, um, I think, the last time. And I remember that, but I wasn't playing it at the time, so... It's interesting. Oh! Oh, very cool. So you... She did 2D graphics, so you did um, textures, question marks. <laughs> what you're witnessing right now is how I used to spend hours and hours... <laughs> 
Very cool. Nice to meet you then. I think I can slash bow. Errs, war slash wave. Uh, hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Bow. There we go. I'll be playing all week, and my write up comes out on Sunday. Slash smile. Very cool. So see how the character models are? I think the character models are awesome. They look almost like a Disney um, Disney movie or something like that. Now let's see if I can. Oh, no dropping. I was going to pop on my board. Let's see what else is around here. Oh, here's a pet area. I'll show you this. I don't know what these buildings are. They look like homes, but I think they might be just temporary chatting areas, maybe? Oh, this is for paintball right here. Okay, I thought it was for... Um, There we go. How do you get in? Aw. Let's see. Maybe all this is for paintball. It's possible. Whing. Yeah, it's all for paintball. About. Oh, somebody just bought it. Okay. So you can actually buy one for... Uh, how much are they to buy? Uh, with a price, a thousand there bucks. Now I didn't see how many. How many? I always, anytime I uh, stream a new game with cash up stuff like that, I like to try and see how much of their bucks is. Uh, let's see here. Let's do a thousand. No, oh, a hundred dollar. I see what you a hundred. So for ten dollars, you get eighteen thousand. That really? Wow, that's really cheap. I didn't know it was that 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 cheap. So for a dollar, let's do five dollars. You get 9,000 there bucks. So to go back to the auctions, which is player-made stuff, or the shop, either way. Um, or let's actually let's go back to the auctions. So it was it was five bucks for 8,000. So you know you're getting more than a thousand per dollar. Um, let's say this shirt right here. They're buying. They're selling it for you know less than um, uh, you know what is that? If not even I just completely forgot what I was looking at here. Five dollars is 8,000. Was that right? Oh, five five bucks is nine thousand. So to go back to that, yeah, you're getting you're getting some pretty good pretty good prices. But what they do is they sell those items. They can actually, I believe, then turn them into, at least I thought so, turn them into cash back. Uh, it's been a while. Um, but maybe possibly the person who I was just talking to used to work for the company. Maybe they could tell me, email me at boatmassively.com and let me know. Um, and then. I believe people used to actually, kind of like Second Life used to make kind of a living at it, or they'd make some money. I think it was kind of like Second Life 2 is pretty hard to make a living at it, but people did. Um, you know, it's not, not the mass percentage. I even sold quite a few of these shirts and stuff, but we'd sell them to our club, club members uh, instead. Uh, let's see if I can get over here. How do you get in? There it is. It's like a tent you can hide in. It's paintball. Of course, it doesn't help to play paintball whenever you're... Uh, so you have to pay monthly and buy the cash. Who? Yeah, I I don't know. I don't know if you get an allowance or not. Like just starting off, I got fourteen hundred there bucks. You know, I don't know if you get an allowance of it. Like in Second Life, I imagine it's probably like that. Uh, do 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 do. Eighteen hundred there bucks for a buck. You can buy extras. I, I let me see if there's no real area for um, accounts and billing. Let's see. Subscription, refund, uh, boo -boo -boo -boo. can I buy a subscription for another member? I'm not seeing anything unnecessarily, but I thought maybe you'd get, a, get like a, an allowance. But it's 10 bucks a month. I mean, it's, it's nothing, you know. Um, let's see what their buck says. Buying and using... Um, Darebuck's reseller policy. 
Hmm. I'll have to find out. This week, that's what I do on Rise and Shining, is I spend time, you know, figuring out, you know, the game and, and what's up with it. So all this new stuff, I'll definitely figure it out. I'll see if I can kind of get the new rules, put those in the in the column and stuff like that. But more than likely, it's pretty similar, but they might be kind of keeping it a little bit on the down low, I guess. I don't know. Before, it was, it was, it was pretty much one of the few social games like this, so you really had... You didn't have much choice, you know. There was this game, there was Second Life just starting in 04, I guess, 03, 04. But I didn't get until 04, 05. I guess actually 04 was Second Life, a few months after this. Uh, and there wasn't very many, I think there was like one other social kind of game, but it was a lot more limited. It wasn't this free, you couldn't ex freely explore. Like I can, I mean this is definitely an MMO in the way that I can walk from this point. I mean if I can see, the, see it in the distance, I can fly there or go there or whatever, if I can see a chunk of land up there or whatever, I can actually go visit there. So, it, you know, it, in that way, it's really, actually a really cool MMO. I wish that it was more of a kind of quote-unquote typical MMO, like they had quests or something. Now, players can make quests, and that, that always uh, worked. Like, you can make these little quests and lay out clues for people, but it was it would be really nice if they used the same engine to make kind of like a, a Free Realms type game or something like that. But... Anyway, so that's a little bit of there for you. I'm definitely going to um, close it out here. But if you want to contact me, of course, feel free to. Let me go to a different view so you can see that. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There you go. Uh, you can contact me. You can email me at bow at massively.com. You can also tweet me at bow underscore Heinen if you like. And uh, I'll be playing for the rest of the week. I'll write up my reports. It'll, that'll come out on Sunday. If you're watching this video embedded in the column on Sunday, please leave your comments or uh, any questions or memories of the game you can leave that in the um, in the comment section if you'd like uh, or in the uh, if you might see this on you know on the comment section on my YouTube channel at Bo Turkey uh, there on YouTube um, feel free to tweet me with any other games that you'd like to have uh, followed or whatever or checked out I'm gonna go to the world view this is always kind of cool you can go to the world view here and it should zoom all the way down well, it goes all the way medium view. Um, but I'll be checking this out for the rest of the week. And join me here in about, let's see, about one hour from now, I'm actually going to be streaming, um, I'm actually going to be streaming Allods Online Goblin Ball here in an hour if you're watching this live. So be, be sure to check back. And then um, I'll be back on Thursday with some Final Fantasy XI at 5 p.m. EDT, so be sure to check that out. Uh, anyway, I'm going to keep playing there. I'm going to try to find out, find out what's changed, what stay the same. Maybe I can figure out some kind of timeline of what happened with the game along the way. Who knows? Uh, hopefully I can figure that out. But have a good day. Stick around for about an hour, and I'll be back with Goblin Ball in about, uh, at, a, at 5 p.m. EDT. And other than that, uh, just keep an eye on If you want to try out there, just go to there.com. You can Google it. And uh, it's, you have to go ahead and pay the first month's um, subscription in order to play it. It's $10. That's nothing. But if you have an old avatar, if you want to get access to your old avatar, what you have to do is you have to... Um, uh, put you have to actually sign in with your avatar name and your old password. If you forget that password, go to forget password and follow that around a little bit and just follow the links and you be, you'll be able to reset your password. It took a while and then it takes a, maybe a, a day, maybe a day and a half, maybe it's several hours. I can't really remember. It takes a while. But then all of your old stuff will be imported into the game. So I signed up. I, I was like, oh, where's all my cool old clothes and all that? And within, I think, a day, it was all back in my inventory. But it, at first, when you're playing, it, it you don't see any of that stuff. It's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit mysterious. Like, hey, where's my stuff? I just paid ten bucks, but you'll get it back. It'll once you use your old avatar information. So, have a good day. I'll see you guys and girls in about one hour for some Goblin Ball. Wish me luck on that one. Bye bye.